Welcome back, guys. We're now at the eight-month mark of our 41-way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. You've heard me say in the past I regret using a light-colored hood, but at the time, it's all I could get my hands on. So as a result, I've tweaked the color a little bit in post so it'll show up better on your screen. So when I do that, things look a little weird, so bear with me. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit the bell icon so you get the latest updates. If you're just joining us, please be sure to check out the entire series of these videos as there is a ton of work that goes into the research, prep, install, and continued testing of these. As usual, we'll foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, wash it with an Australian sheep's wool, wash mitt, and then of course, rinse it to inspect the hydrophobic properties. If you have any of these installed on your vehicle, let me know in the comments how they're holding up for you or if you're rooting for any of them. So without further ado, let's do further and see how things are holding up. NGNT DS gel was weak at the 120 day mark. We are now going to call that failed. Seafoam fast finish lasted seven days and then Sea Quartz Finest Reserve and Professional. In my experience, Sea Quartz Professional has been more hydrophobic than reserve and that is definitely the case here, here at the eight month mark. Sea Quartz Finest Reserve, not to the point where we would call it weak. I know it's kind of tough to see it on camera there. You can see right next to Seaquartz Professional, which is much more hydrophobic. Both of those are 2021 batches. I know they've had some production issues. Fortador Kevlar coating had failed at the seven day mark. Apex Rehydrobead, we're going to call that, or let's see, we called that failed at the 120 day mark. DPC T3 and T9, both look like those are hanging in there. Looks like both of them are very hydrophobic. Apex Metal Oxide Coating by Art to Shine. Looks like it's doing all right as well. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal lasted 30 days. Nano Skin T1 and T3. T1 has been weak for quite some time. T3. Looks a little bit better. Not to the point where we'd call that one weak, but it's getting pretty close. Nano Skin Ceramic Sealant lasted 30 days. NGNT Pro 1K. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Not super hydrophobic, but not to the point where we'd call it weak. 1K Plus looking very good. Much more hydrophobic than the one above it. Requires three in one wax. We got 30 days out of that one. On to Avalon King. Avalon King looks, looks like it's doing okay. Not quite as hydrophobic as it once was. Next to Nano Age or Nano Bond, which seems to be much more hydrophobic though, when you compare them side by side. Warregion. 10H ceramic that's from Amazon looks like it's doing just fine as well shows a little bit of degradation but overall not bad Gion can coat Q2 that one looks like it's starting to get to the weak point not quite there but pretty close drive auto nano looks like it's doing all right Meguiar's hybrid paint coating that has been the impressive one for me for this test so far it's a spray, spray on aerosol coating, looking great. New finish ceramic. What do you think of their inexpensive spray coating? I don't think we're gonna call that one weak, but it's getting pretty close. Underdog the Sauce Pro, that's a PTFE based coating. Starting to show a little bit of signs of weakness, but it looks like it's hanging in there. Gloss at 10H, looks all right. Gloss at 5H also looks like it's doing well. NGNT Pro 2K looks extremely hydrophobic, as does the 3K. Those are multiple layer products. Grios 3 in 1, that's the winner of our, one of the winners of our spray coating test. 
that we did a while back and it looks like it's starting to get on the weak side really close to calling that one week you know we got about a year out of the other one here we are at the eight month mark g technic ultra professional only product there looks very hydrophobic igl premiere that one looks like it's doing pretty good as well On to Owner's Pride. Somebody, one of the updates had said that they've updated this product. So if that is true, then we'll have to get our hands on the new one as well. Owner's Pride, Tech 580, and Speedwipe Speedcoat. All three of those manufactured by the same company, but maybe a different blend or something like that. They're all performing similarly. Speedwipe, maybe a little less so. Lone Star Ceramic Pre-Production Coating. Looks like it's hanging in there, as is IGL Easy Graphene. That's a one layer, super simple to use. My experience, it's very tacky though. It, it sets up very quickly. Ilho 12H Graphene had failed early on. Chemical Guys Hydro Slick, 30 days. Chemical Guys Hydro Charge lasted about 60 days and Chemical Guys Carbon 4 Ceramic Coating. It's been weak since about the 120 day mark and it's pretty much still right there. It's just kind of borderline weak. And then Ammo has been this way since the 30 day mark where it's lost its, hyd its hydrophobics pretty quickly and it's starting to sheet, but it still does get the water off of the panel. So there's your update guys, eight months. What do you think? Anything you're rooting for? Let me know in the comments. Again, check the video description for spreadsheets, things like that, more info about the all of the products. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon.